one minute after midnight. Absolute proof down in Antarctica. We've always had Get this from the British station, Roxbury. Here comes that baby sun, and it's only around for about four and a half, five hours, even that. A little baby sun out of the super giants. Because by the time we get to the fifth hour, it's gone. There it is, bingo bango. Doesn't have the black object coming around the front of it on that oscillation. And, you know, I'm not, it could be another one. That's definitely out of the supergiants. And that's UTC time. And they get 23 to 24 hours of sunlight down there, but it's not the sun. And at 5 o'clock, it starts to radiate into darkness. And then the next hour, and as you see, you will see some objects there. We can blow in on that real fast. Give it like 400%. Just going to do a mic check here. So, we got there, yeah. Terahide, tetrahide, and something like that up there in the sky behind it, following it. So, so a thousand in on that object there. You can see it right there. You can't miss it. It's right there. Spoojerama or something. Terahydra, tetrahydra, and something followed it. And then, so with just within five hours, now, boom, it's there. You can't miss it. And just within five hours, basically, we're getting darkness. we will be gone. And then, basically, the sun will be coming up on the next shot. Should be. You know, that's pretty much darkness. It's about the only thing they get for darkness because you get to see the aurora that they get down there and they get purple down there and then we get should be sun coming up somewhere but it's still somewhat dark I think at 6. Get it to load or not. There we go. There's 6 o'clock. It's starting to get a little bit lighter. So then the sun's up. So it's that thing, that little baby star goes by in about easily 5 hours. So uh, if something crazy was to happen in people's theories of thinking of things, the idea you would only have the sun for five hours if we were to lose our sun and have that baby sun right there. And everybody that watches my channel all the time knows the truth. It's all factual. Okay? Nighttime sky. Two minutes after midnight, and it starts to come up. Okay. Now let's show some more facts. So whenever you go to my channel, you can go down here and cut and paste this address right there. So I've had it there for a long time, and it's going to show you this act. And then you want Rad CPM and the Super Giant stuff? You go there. I got to reload up videos into that. That's the pirate site off YouTube in case YouTube ever gets slammed down on us. So the rest of the video is probably going to be silent so that you can just figure out that it's all truth.
some hard ass truth for everybody. Okay, you watch this. This object is actually there. It's the sun to the left, folks. That huge object you see to the right is there. It's been there for a long time. The Catholic Church set a telescope up to look at it years ago. I think its designation number is worth from five. It's like 50 or 55 or something like that. It's a mass. It's a huge planet. This is taken from last year. Basically, uh, 610. You can see pretty much if you look right down the middle of the bottom of the screen, you can see it. 2011 610. It's still there, folks. Something's beating the shit out of the sun. It's super giant stuff. Big ass shit. Now we're gonna go look at that. This is actually there, ladies and gentlemen. And if you've seen, we've seen this flopper before, too. Okay. So, more facts for you. We've seen this flopper, and there are other floppers out there in space. V action and so forth and so on. So, let's go to the... So watch the sun kick somebody's ass, either that or the sun's getting its ass kicked by something. And that's your date and time, left hand corner. This is just within a day. This is 24 hours of huge CME action. And remember, the size of the sun is 10 point something. Just round it off high at 11 sizes of Jupiter right there. You see that brightness? Jupiter's only that brightness size. That fits in here. Jupiter will fit in there. 11 of them right there in that with the white line, folks. The sun's getting its flipping butt kicked by something. What's your guess? We know for sure that it's Rigel Kentaurus A. B's already went by. And that mass and other big masses like that mass. So, sharing fa facts, actual facts, science and data with you. And this is all in one day, folks. There's your ticker clock on the 19th. Can't get any pressure shot than this. And that's just what happened on the 19th. And it keeps getting when we get huge CMEs, it keeps getting worse and worse and worse and worse. So let's give you just some information on spaceweather.com, friends. More reality, folks. 6.3 in Mexico. And we've had other quakes. This is just within the last week. Okay? All this is happening. And you're not blind, folks. That's the United States of America right there. Okay? It's that simple. That's the United States of America. You had a 6.3 earthquake below your ass today. Okay? There's earthquakes all over the world, like crazy. That's the United States of America there, folks. So all these quakes are just within a little bit over a week. Not even more than 10 or 12 days here. It's a 6.2 on the bottom that I was able to turn and get it to you. And as we turn, and then we get this. So it's all the same stuff. Supergiant sun, folks. The sun and the supergiants come up below Earth every day. We rotate east. Okay? And we get that 6.2 today. Actually, it's a 6.3 in Mexico, right below us today. 
This is Antarctic where it comes up at. And it's usually up for about five hours. And then the other supergiants take over. And they do their action. And then it goes bye-bye. It's an actual baby sun that comes up. And governments around the world are doing all kinds of crazy crap. Chemtrails and so forth to make sure you don't see it. This is UTC Zulu time, folks. People all over the world are saying all kinds of stuff. So, I said space weather. So sooner and later, this electrical energy, and yes, you know them at their northern lights. Aurora Australis, I think, or something like that, okay? But sooner or later, on these huge flames, it's going to do something. No matter what. Things are changing with the sun. So, that's an actual photo, folks. This is real stuff. Alright. So, they're getting honest with us about stuff finally. And not enough yet. So, At least uh, everybody cries wolf, cries wolf, and then something's gonna. Okay? Because I just showed you that action. Which was a lot more graphic than what they let you see. I showed you the truth. Okay? Uh, and I've already showed you the truth. This shit's already hit Mars. Okay? Yeah, well, it'll hit the Mars on the 24th. But Mars has already reacted to a lot of other CMEs. You believe what you want to believe about what falling in the ground. There are the asteroids, folks. But NASA says there's nothing close by us. So, this is something to read and study here. Even though, so I'll read this. I'm not even going to read it and stumble around and bumble. I hate reading off to people, but you can read it right there. So, space junk's coming in. Whether it's space junk or asteroids, it doesn't really matter. Comets, they're telling you. Shit's going to hit the ground. Okay? More off facts.